Hi everybody, this is Diane. It is a Sunday afternoon and so um, during the months of February and March I'm trying to use my weekend days to use up scraps. Mostly paper but I did do some fabric scrap um, projects also. So yesterday I started on this basket and <laughs> I got a lot of stuff done out of this, but it doesn't look like I did anything. I have this much stuff left. So I think I will continue next weekend doing more, and, and basically it'll be stamping. So I don't know if I will video it or not. Do you want to see more? Because I will use different kinds of stamps the next time. This weekend I used my word stamps with quotes and things like that. And then I got out my um, journaling stamps, and I'll show you those in just a minute. So I would use different kinds of stamps for next weekend. So if you want to see, you can let me know. I would definitely at least show you what I made if I don't actually show the process. So here's what I made. And there's a lot. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of little things in this pile. So I did that roll of really old paper with my definitions from the Stampin' Up! Um, Defined Life set. And so I, I just tore them. They were on a long strip yesterday. I just tore them and I will store them like this. It has all the letters of the alphabet have uh, a word and a definition here. Um, I just did these. These are some of the journaling stamps. So this is like a perpetual calendar. And this was a vintage paper that was taken from a, a vintage pharmacy student's notebook. So the paper was old and thin and really just beautiful. Uh, his writing was across the top and the, there was a large space at the bottom. So you can see a little loop of a G or something there. But it's just a perpetual calendar that I stamped and I can use in a journal. I had a bunch of these that came out of a little binder book, a little scrapbook I guess it was supposed to be. So just to keep things simple, I just stamped a big journaling spot and then a word at the top. This one says, things to buy, find joy in the little things. It's the little things that make life big. And then I did this one that was sideways. This one says blessings. Odds and ends. I love lists, and I do. Be happy. Secret. I guess that one was doubled. It's all in the details. Count the happies. So these lists can be used for, you know, things you're happy about, the details, some secret, the things you're happy about. And then I wanted to use this stamp that I don't use very often, and it, I've had it for a really long time, and it's things to do. But I didn't have a journaling stamp that would, that was the right size for this. So I used uh, part of an Amazon box and tore off it took a little bit of work. I actually used this to get in into those grooves and get more peeled off. So that's what I use. I just put ink on it and pressed it down. So the lines are very grungy looking, but it's pretty cool. So I did three of those. And I still have more of those pages to stamp on. Um, I just stamped a bunch of stuff on plain white. I used different colors of ink and I will cut them out and store them. There's another one. And I had some paper, uh, mixed media paper that I had colored with Distress inks. <clears throat> so I stamped some things on that paper that I can cut out and use. These would be great in a boho journal. Um, these are the things you saw, but they are sewn together now and there is the string tied around them. But we put these together, except for the sewing, yesterday, in yesterday's video. Or whatever day I have. Like I said before, I've got a whole bunch of videos waiting <laughs> to be uploaded. So I, I don't know if one will go in between these two videos. 
Um, and then here's some more papers that I colored. I thought these all came out of one sheet, so they could all go in one journal. And I made pockets with stamps on them, but make every little moment count. And I can embellish with lace or whatever when I'm using them. She leaves a sparkle wherever she goes. And think happy, be happy. And then this could be a pocket in a grungy journal. We do not remember days, we remember moments. I had stamped the craft paper with stamps and said that I could cut them out with my Big Shot dies. So that's what I did. I just used some shapes that worked with these stamps. There's some more, but they're, they're all the same, the same two stamps that I did on that paper. I had some strips of some beautiful colored paper, some painted paper or dyed. So I stamped some things that would be, uh, that would fit on the strip. I can trim that. It says it's all in the details. I can trim that to fit onto some uh, pocket or something or just glue it to a page. And then I love this stamp. So I used some more paper strips to stamp and um, file folder. And I did some cutting out last night, so these got cut out. I just love it on the dyed paper. <clears throat> I think there's some more in here, but we'll come across them. And you saw me do these on that handmade paper. I just cut them apart. And I don't know what more I might do to them when I go to use them. These I just cut into a square and I'll probably do something else to them before I use them. Um, another a wider strip of a colored paper. Kind words never fade. These are some of the journaling stamps that I had stamped on paper with my blue ink and I cut them out. And some on this is the painted um, paper too. This one is just looks like it's pretty solid. And then I had this yellow paper. I think I stamped that on the video. You saw me stamp these perforated pages with all my um, definitions. Some more file folder pieces and that uh, Victorian calling card. I inked around the edge of that one. We did that one on video and that. So what am I going to do? How am I going to store all of these? Um, I have another batch of stamped images that I was going to bring over here so we could talk about how I will store them. That's just a little time stamp thing. Count the happies. This one was a page that I had stamped with a background stamp that had some text and things on it, but I after I inked it with different colors, I inked it with multiple colors and then squirted it with water to make it look all watercolory and stamped on a paper. And then this was a scrap that was cut off of that paper. So I stamped this stamp a couple of times on those scraps and I really like the way they look. Let me see if I have those other stamped images handy. I'm not sure where I put them. I meant to get them out before I started the video. Oh, I put them in my box of handmade ephemera. But these are just stamped pieces, basically. So I've done these. I think I did most of these in um, maybe my first or, or the first two videos in this February and March weekend scrapistry series and these are um, pieces just cardstock scraps and manila folder scraps and these stamp um, these 
stamping sessions were a little more involved because I used multiple stamps to make designs instead of just stamping a word or a phrase. So I have all of these that I also have to store and I do have little words that are stamped. So how am I going to use well, these I can put in my box because these are finished pieces. So how am I going to store these so that I remember to use them? Well, I thought about this. And if you remember, I got this at an estate sale, and it is a placemat. And it has baggies sewn into it, Ziploc bags, with um, the ends of the bags are hidden under this grain ribbon. I want to make one with new bags because this is... You know, these bags are dingy, and I don't want to pick these off. Yeah, I, I'll probably keep this one and use it, but I would like to make a couple more. I put a command hook on my wall, so I can just hang this on my wall really close to where I'm sitting, so it would be very handy. So what I am going to do is I'm going to sort all of my pieces that I stamped, and I'll put the little things in a little bag and um, put the larger pieces in bigger bags and then maybe I will remember to use them. I also have in my binder, I'm pretty sure I have some stamped images in here that I can take out. Yeah, there's quite a few stamped things that I can pull out of here and put into that binder. That'll take a lot. There's a lot of stamped stuff in here. Yeah. Here's what I've done in the past with those um, definition stamps I use. Again, stamp them on a strip, coffee dyed strip of paper that was cut off of a page and um, just cut it into a banner shape and then made embellishments with it. So it's going to take me some time. I'll have to remove all of these stamped images and then I will sort all of this stuff and then put it into my little ephemera holder. She used the person who made this uh, used it to store her embroidery floss. So I'm going to use it for my ephemera. So that's all I'm going to show you today. We're not going to do the sorting process. What I need to do today is uh, clean a lot of stamps. I have a lot of stamps to clean. <laughs> So I want to get that done and then um, maybe this evening I'll start sorting these things and getting them put away so that my table is fresh and clean and ready to work on my tulip journal tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this uh, series of weekend scrapistry, how I'm using up scraps. At the end of the month, as I've said in previous videos, I will be revisiting my scraps in the various containers. and sorting through and getting rid of some so that I don't feel so overwhelmed with scraps. So once again, I say thank you for watching me and uh, or watching my video and I hope that you are working along with me and using up your scraps or at least crafting with me. I'll see you soon. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.